Welcome to the Doggo Bake Show. I'm your host, Joanne Cabarus. We're gonna be sculpting dogs with polymer clay using minimal tools and lots of imagination. Come on in. I'll show you my process for sculpting dogs. Today's episode is Packing Knees! Packing Knees, come up here! Hello, Shiba Inu. It's my time to go up there. Oh, that sounds like fun. I had so much fun playing with you. Me too. Let's do this again, okay? Yeah, sounds great. Packing me. Oh, she keeps calling me. All right, I'll see you later. See ya. Here's preparation. Toothpicks, polymer clay, any tool with pointed and rounded tip, a brush and oil, Scissors and yarn. Petri, be very still. We are gonna start. Freeze! Doggo Bake Show, Doggo Bake Books. The Doggo Bake Books will show you step-by-step -step instructions for 60 dog breeds. And the packing ease belongs to the Doggo Bake Book 1. Just a little amount of polymer clay and you're good to go. Hey, you can definitely apply these techniques to create your own dog. Here, I'm gonna form general shapes and use toothpicks for stability. You don't have to stick to one solid color. Adding different polymer clay color to your base color could create a very interesting color combination. Once you have all the body parts formed, you can now connect them all together. When you connect the head and the snout, this is the time to decide if you want the dog to be facing sideways or its head is tilting sideways. It's up to you. No need for fancy tools here. We're just using the tip of a paintbrush, you know, or any kind of brush or stick that has a rounded tip. See, that's very easy, right? Especially the book, it's so easy to follow. That's ready to be baked. But if you're not happy with it and you want to detail some more, feel free to do that. And since the purpose of the show is to teach you how to use minimal tools or no tools at all just the tools that you can find at home to save you money it's very possible we're gonna use toothpick to detail the body with a packing ease it's not necessary to detail the actual clay because it's gonna be covered anyway since the face is exposed that one we will try to detail if you decide to detail your sculpture, sharpen a toothpick with scissors. With the detailing, my suggestion is to keep it light. You don't want to put too much texturing in there because it's gonna look scruffy. In this case, I've textured the face too much. The face started to look rough or either it appears like an old dog, right? All right, so here it is. I've detailed the whole face in the front of the neck. Some of the forehead, if you notice, it still look like kind of rough. So what we're gonna do is we are going to wipe that rough surface with a little bit of just a little bit and that's it that's the result i'm gonna put it on top of foil whatever polymer clay brand 
you use, always follow the package insert. Always follow the instruction. I have a little toaster oven in here. Also, if your sculpture is big, put it in the conventional oven. The one that's big in the kitchen. You can use that too. Now it's in the toaster oven. I'm gonna put 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 275, that's acceptable. It's in the bake. And 30 minutes. After baking the sculpture, we're gonna put all the prepared yarn in the holes that we created. I'd suggest to use super glue clear gel for this. And for all other projects that involves applying yarn on the sculptures. I'm gonna trim the fur so it'll make it easier for me to groom the sculpture. Guess what I'm using to comb the fur? Yep, it's a toothpick! For the final touches, you can add color shading on the fur with a permanent marker or any paint. Hi, Grandma. Would you like to share my hamburger? Oh, thank you. Hurry up, Grandma. It's getting darker. And Grandpa will love you. Is he a polymer clay too? And... Unfreeze! So, Petrie, what do you think? Pretty easy, right? With a little clay and some tools that you can find in your own home, you can now create your own friends too. Don't forget to grab your copies of Doggo Bake 1, 2, and 3 if you want to learn how to create these dogs in detail. If you enjoy this video, come subscribe or like or even share this video to your friends. See you next Friday for another dog. Bye.